Are you okay, Grandmaster? I will recover, but the world will not if we fail. You have a choice to make, Dennis. Will you fight with us to save the world? I will not lie to you. It will be dangerous, and we will probably lose, but we have to try. Before you decide, allow me to show you something. Once Arcanax was banished, I was elected Grandmaster to the Forged Order. My powers slowed my aging process. I have seen thousands of Order members come and go, but they have always had one thing in common. An insatiable passion for protecting good and fighting evil. We defended our planet from dark enemies for centuries, safe in the knowledge that Arcanax was no more and the Legion of Paximon had gone with him. But we were wrong. Some of his acolytes had survived and with them so had the ability to access dark mystic power. Six years ago, Countess Heratrix tracked Arcanax down. She brought others who would willingly give him their lives. Lord Arcanax recruited quickly, scoring the globe for assassins. We were unprepared. Without the constant need to defend ourselves, our numbers had dwindled. I almost emptied myself of power to find new members capable of wielding our mystic power. I was desperate to find the Chosen One. The one who will fulfill the Worldbringer prophecy. If I didn't, all would be lost. And then I found you. You had more mystic potential than anyone born for 1000 years. Your family was crucial in winning the war. Particularly you. You joined the Order, as did your sister. Much to your parents' pride, they were already generals to the Order. To be forged was in your blood. You absorbed a perfect balance of light and darkness, and were gifted with powers. But that much power caused disturbances in the fabric of our reality. It opened mystic portals of undeterminate end. And it was through one of these that your family was lost. While the Order celebrated your victory, you mourned your losses. You decided to leave the Order. Being here was too hard for you. No one had ever left the Order. You were the first. I only allowed it on one condition. I wiped you off your memories of all things mystic. It would be too dangerous to have someone wandering the world with mystic knowledge unchecked. Which is why you never knew what happened to your family. And we never knew what happened to you. Until your powers started revealing themselves again. The advanced senses that your powers have bestowed onto you have helped you to master your craft. It's where you feel closest to your family. Their emotional memory embedded deep into your very being stirs the latent force of your power every time you play. That's how we found you and how they found you. I knew you'd be back when we needed you most. Now is the time, but the choice is yours. Will you fight? Or will you watch the world burn? I can't and won't force you to rejoin the Forge Order. I'm back in my apartment. It's been ransacked. I know this is a lot to take in. I thought you'd appreciate some time at home. I will find you again when you are ready. It was the past. I was seeing the past. I was the hero from my visions this whole time. The Grandmaster is right. This is a lot to handle. The fate of the world is suddenly on my shoulders. I think I need to lie down. Finally! I've been calling you for days. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. It's a long story. 
I bet it is. Billy is missing. Is he with you? No. Meet me at Boris's shop. We need to talk. I hope Billy hasn't gotten into trouble because of me.